Hello everyone, this is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar. I'm just going to continue um, on the lines of uh, looking at orbitals. Uh, I want to emphasize that um, uh, to some of the people that, that, that may be uh, uh, rather naive to uh, chemistry or rather new to the concepts of, of, of chemistry, what we're looking at, this visualization, is not a physical reality in that, that, that um, if I were to look at an atom, for example, which, which we really can't uh, accurately look at an electron in an atom, um, this is certainly not in, in, in any uh, you know, highly tangible sort of way. Um, but if you were to, some way that you were to actually peek in the atom, it, uh, it's not, this isn't exactly how, how it looks. Uh, again, this is, is all probability. So this may look like, oh, the electron is in here. No, it's not saying the electron is in here. It's saying that there's a high probability of finding an electron here or here if I were to take a peek. Um, when you're not actually looking at it, you're not actually taking a peek. And, and when we do take a peek at atoms, generally we have to um, we have to use really sh small wavelengths of, of light. Um, and that, of course, that has a lot of energy. And I hit this with a lot of energy, and I, you know, the electron goes into some other energy level, or it ionizes, or or gosh knows what happens to it. Um, and uh, obviously, that goes back to the uncertainty principle. Uh, but I just I just want to be very clear that this isn't a physical reality, that this is is a, is a probabilistic model um, that makes a lot of predictions um, that uh, through experimentation um, are accurate as far as we know. Um, so again, don't think that this is physical reality. Um, it's just that this is the best we can do with, with what we know right now. Is that that the probability is high that it'll be in here or here. Um, okay, so with that little preface, let's, let's kind of move on. So we talked about the S and P orbitals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase the energy. I'm going to go up to my third shell. So now I have the quantum numbers 300. Zero, zero. And, of course, that uh, corresponds to a 3S orbital. So in the 2S orbital, I had a sphere within a sphere. Now I have a sphere within a sphere within a sphere. So I have two nodes. I have a node of zero probability density here and another node of zero probability density here. And we can see that um, on our graph down here. A little bit of probability density here, a little bit of probability density here, and a little bit of probability density here. These are my three spheres with the most probable radius being uh, 13 um, A sub naught or 13 Bohr radii. And of course our, um, elect our, our binding energy is now at a negative 1.05 electron volts and we're further away from the nucleus, there, there's less um, traction and influence and you can definitely see um, the binding energy decreasing and of course it's going to take less energy to ionize this atom. <clears throat> okay, so let's just go ahead and look at um, some other orbitals. Not only do we have um, p orbitals in our third energy level, but if I increase my L to 2, that gives me a d orbital. And these can truly take on some really bizarre shapes. You can see here um, that not only do I have sort of a p orbital where I have two lobes of probability density, but I have this little torus here that circles around, and there's probability density in that as well. And again, the question is, well, wait a minute. If there's no probability density here and here, how can the electron, maybe if it's here, uh, go to here or here? Uh, again, this is one of those, those just those crazy um, wave-like characteristics associated with the quantum mechanics of, um, of describing the atom. And again, this is all probability uh, density that, that we're looking at here. Um, I'll go ahead and bring up the x, y, z um, axes and get a better idea for, <coughs> excuse me, of orientation. Um, so there we have a 3D orbital or 320 um, configuration. Okay, guys, take care. We'll talk to you later.